friends and today I'm going to read the Bible story. This video is collaboration with Harry Blossom. You can see my own channel in the site in the link in the description. Now let's read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Two by Two Noah and the Food. Let's read. The earth filled up with people, but they kept disobeying God. God and hurt God and hurting each other. God was sorry that he made them. He decided to send a flute to a to wash away everyone on earth. So the people filled the earth and they but they kept disobeying God and sin. So God was so sorry. God was sorry that they that he made them. So he had a plan. There was a man named Noah and who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. God one warned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with a floor full, a low roof, three floors, and a window. Oh, and the door. Noah obeyed God and built it. So Noah and his family obeyed God. They weren't like others. They obeyed God and loved God. So God told Noah to make a big boat that there is an enormous boat with a roof, roof, three doors, and a window and a door. So Noah obeyed it and built it. There's a street floor and lots of windows and a door. Hmm. Question Who loved and obeyed God? Number one, the thief. Number two, uh, someone is teasing another person. And number three, Noah's family. Number three, Noah's family was the correct answer. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal, one male and one female. When then Noah and his family and the animals went into the boat, God shut the door. So God told Noah to collect every kind of to collect two of every kind of animal, one male and one female. So with mm, God helped Noah, but if God didn't help, Noah could not collect all the animals. God helped him. God sent to God sent two of every kind of animal. And when they were all aboard, God shut the door. It drank for 40 days and 40 nights. Waters fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountains disappeared beneath the flood. 
so it rained for 40 days and nights. It rained, so also the tallest mountain was tallest mountains disappeared. Then God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal onto the ark. Yes or true? No, yes or no? Nah. God tell Noah to take two each kind of animal, one male and one female. Meanwhile, Noah and his family and all the animals were safe in the boat, floating on the food waters. God had God had not forget about Noah, not even for a moment. So meanwhile, Noah and his family and all the animals were safe in the boat. They were all safe and God took care of them. So they were able to be safe, and God had not forgotten about Noah and his family, not even a moment. Set a wind to blow. The water sent went down. The boat landed on a mount. Arata. Noah sent out a dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So God set a wind to blow. The and the waters went down. And the boat shifted on a mount called Arara. Then they sent a dove, and when the dove didn't return, they knew it was safe. <laughs> then, and when the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he will never fool the whole world again. Oh, earth again. So when the dry up was brown, they all came out and they thanked God that they were safe in the boat. And God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise. That you will never flip the whole world again. Do you like rainbow? I really like rainbows. <laughs> Question God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise. That he would never fool the whole world again. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!